Conservation groups and the Greens have welcomed state government plans to legislate carbon emissions targets but have called for more detail. The government has already committed to reducing public sector emissions by 80% by 2030 and reaching net zero by 2050 but will now apply those goals to the entire economy. Laying down the law for the state's largest emitters. Inking into law where we want to be uh, sends a powerful message that, you know, down the terrace, they're going to say, well, you know, uh, we've got to get our skates on and be serious about this. WA industry set to be required to reach net zero carbon emissions by 2050, with an 80% reduction by 2030. The minister to report the state's progress to parliament each year, and there'll be a requirement to set interim emissions reduction targets to ensure the problem isn't passed on to future governments. Climate change is the greatest challenge of our lifetime. It's one that's not going away and it needs to be addressed. The Greens have welcomed the measures but raised concerns the interim targets won't be introduced quickly or strongly enough. At the moment though, with the big new projects coming, coming online, we're going to see WA's emissions actually go up this decade, not come down. And that, I think that's actually a real concern. We're seeing rapid increases in production and rapid increases in production and emissions reduction don't work hand in hand. And so how the state government holds those companies particularly accountable um, will be a big challenge. The government says an interim target will be established by the end of the year in consultation with industry. Our consultative approach uh, with business is absolutely key and we commend the government for essentially committing itself and future governments to that approach. The Chamber of Commerce says industry is already responding to global pressure and shareholder demands and has largely welcomed the government's plans. James Carmody, ABC News.